Hey guys, w real quick thing before I start the episode, I just realized while I was putting the episode together and editing that that this episode's coming out the day of my wedding. So if you're actually watching it, the day comes out on March 11th, I'm off getting married right now. So I just thought that was a cool little, little like time capsule type thing. I thought that was kind of cool. And if you're watching in the future, you kind of know like the time frame, everything and all that. I just thought it was cool. I wanted to share it with y'all. But anyways... Thank you guys for your support and watching this video and let's get right back into the episode hello and welcome to day 10 of dungeons dragons and space shuttles we are officially in the double digits hello chameleon friend i have a few plans for today the main thing is trying to acquire steel for our machines and just doing other quest book stuff and a few other side projects that i will see if i get to I have this clipboard that I put a few things I would like to get done today. And we will see at the end of the episode if I finish any of these, all of them, or whatnot. The first thing on this list, as you can see, is to find myself a hen. Because uh, I, I need a hen. I have two roosters, and they, they're just not going to give me eggs. I keep hoping and praying, but they just ain't giving me eggs, so I gotta go find a hen. Hopefully out in this clearing. I can find one. I have not found one out west. I think I spotted one. That down there could be a hen. Okay. Careful about this. Hello, it looks like you even have an egg with you. It's fine though. But you are definitely a hen. Here. Here's some seeds. Come follow me. Oh, come on. Come on, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. Follow me. Follow me. Hope that wolf doesn't eat you. All right, this is going to take a while. And we are back home, finally with a hen. So you are gonna come in here. Okay, thank you. I've prepared some nests for you to lay your eggs in. Put one there, put another one over here, I guess. And, yay, okay. So hopefully we can get eggs, I think. The rule is, um. If the roosters don't get to the nest, then the eggs won't hatch. And if the roosters stay away from the nest, then the you can you can pick up the eggs later. So we can check the first thing off of our list. And from last episode, we made this. And it looks like, look, the tank got filled up. We couldn't finish it off. Let's swap out these tanks real quick. Put a fresh one underneath. Hopefully we can get that going. And I'll just replenish that and take what I have so far. And also from last episode, this little setup has gotten us quite a bit of methane gas. I'm going to take this tank with me. I'm going to place on some more of this uh, hummus. For it to start getting more of it for me. All of that methane we've collected can go into our workbench over here. And look, now we have a full tank of it. Good. That's good. And then this creosote oil we can use with, hopefully... We can craft it up with all of the wood we got from the sawmill. So this here is the tree of wood that we're going to be needing for immersive engineering. Not sure necessarily what I'm going to use it for right now, but we have it. Back to the workbench. With all this methane now, I want to go ahead and make myself a new set of armor. That's uh, around the same as iron, but a little bit better. Because it has the toughness on it, which is the black quartz. And the black quartz gives me a lot of plates out of this ore, which I need to either smelt up to get one, or I can pop it in the pulverizer and get two. And I have quite a bit of it, so I'll go ahead and process all of it. But like I said before in last episode, my machines currently cannot auto input. I need something that can do that for me. And our solution to this problem our hoppers. So I'm going to place my hopper on top and I'll configure my machine so that this top plate is blue for input and now I can load it up and it will go ahead and pulverize it up and I should be getting two of these quartz per each one and they're going to end up in here. So I'll let this go while I tend to the farm and, and prep for a little project I have. As I've mentioned before I want to have my final base located here in this valley 
So I'm going to go ahead and start doing a bit more terraforming for it, bringing down this hill I'm standing on right now, try and flattening it out. Okay, that should do that for now. And in that time, I've gathered up enough of this quartz to proceed with making myself some armor. And if I did my math right, I think it is just about an entire stack of material to make a full set of armor. So we're going to grab this stuff and make it into plates. Now I can make my set of armor. I'm also going to make myself an Invar shield from Dungeon Tactics. And I'm going to add looting to my sword. Alright, looting three. Nice. And with that, I think we're good to check off the nether protection for today. As I gear up for the nether, I do realize it's going to be difficult to stay alive, mainly because my food will not allow me to heal very quickly. But thinking, back to the quest book, this uh, quest here is about setting up a brewing setup for some sort of potions. Maybe we might be able to make ourselves some healing potions this way. So I'm going to take a, a quick dive into this and, and see what I can figure out. Okay, I think this is going to end up being exactly what I needed. So I've built up the multi-block structure. I've added some water. I'm going to put some bottles up here. It requires some sort of fuel. And I think I add this and then one of these. So this uh, chamomile. Chamomile. Out, out. Look, man, English is not my first language. I apologize. And I'm also dyslexic, so... This one is going to give us um, something. Gives us instant health, which is great. And then we can add this one over here. And we're going to get regeneration. Awesome. And then I'm not sure what this one does, but we could just look it up. Oh, uh, it won't be able to do anything until I have the advanced one. All right, so I think they're both useful in their own sense. I think instant health uh, will be a bit more useful because that's kind of what my like what saturation on food typically would give you essentially okay or maybe regeneration i'll just make a few of both why not if i can't make up my mind i'll just do both i really don't want this to... oh the bridge got you confused oh the bridge messed up your ai my safety bridge now nice while my potions get brewed, I can put rice into the compactor and get paper, apparently. It's two rice for one paper. And I can put potatoes in my pulverizer to get flour. The flour can then be combined with some salt and water to make dough. Now, this dough we've made, we're going to end up combining it with some meat later down the road. But if you want to make your meat go a bit further, you can put whatever uh, it is in the pulverizer and you can get a grounded version of that. So I can get grounded, grounded chicken at a 1 to 2 ratio. And the last piece of the puzzle is going to be some olives being mashed up to make some olive oil. And listen to that sound. And now with all our ingredients combined in our chef's workshop, Along with a few extra vegetables, some onions, carrots, and I just decided to pick some cauliflower. You can change this one out for any other type of vegetable. We can make some chico rolls, which are essentially egg rolls, but Australian. And with all of this extra food we're making, might as well upgrade our little lunch bag into a lunch box. Which is going to hold uh, three extra food items. Nice. And the potions are all done. And here's a really cool thing about this uh, rustic potions versus vanilla. They stack. Like, look how many potions I was actually able to, I can carry around with me. They actually stack. That's amazing. Well, we got plenty of food. We got some potions. We have some sword with looting. We got a decent pickaxe. And we got some armor and other types of protection. I think there's only one step left to do. Go into the nether. Alright, this was not a good spawn. There's a skeleton right here. Oh, and, and wither skeletons too. That's great. 
All right, it's hard to see. All this fire is being very chaotic right now. <gasps> what just happened there? Oh no. Okay. Okay, got my stuff. Time to fight for our lives. Alright, let's drink this elixir. Try to combat the wither effect. The my portal has got broken and well I guess that's free obsidian. Alright, so a bit of a hectic start to the nether. But let's not let that sway us. Let's go ahead and make this into a more safe little box. Okay, I got my little box built up for protection and I hear something right outside my door. Yeah, what is that? What is that? Oh, it can hit me through the wall. That's great. I don't know where you are. Stop hitting me. Oh, dear lord. This is so horrible. It just wasn't gonna make it easy for me, was it? Hey, guy. Just don't don't mind me. Just don't mind me whatsoever. Okay. Got revenge on it. Awesome. Okay. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Time to explore the nether. Before I go too far, I went ahead and made myself a wave point at the portal. So if I get far away, I can still find my way back. And also be using torches as I go along. And yeah, we gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Alright, so we can't mine these nether ores, which sucks. Could mine some of this gold. Now, some mods have it that the ores in the nether explode when you mine them. So I'm gonna be very careful. Okay. So far, so good. So, so that's good, that's good. The main things we're looking for here in the nether right now is nether rack so we can make nether bricks and also something called soul stone which looks like I can find some right here. And then the last ingredient is going to be blaze rods. So luckily there are blazes around. They do seem a bit tougher than the regular blazes though. So we don't necessarily have to find a, a nether fortress but we do need to get blaze rods one way or another. All right. Oh, they can dodge my attacks. Oh, but they get hit too. All right, cool. So long range is how I should do that. Okay. Did that shoot something at me? What is that? Okay. All right, don't panic. All right, don't panic. They like flying above you like this. All right, let's do instant health. Good. And let's see if I can get that guy. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Stay calm. Things will go our way. Hey, we got blaze rods. Uh, Maybe that means we got enough, I'm not sure. Is this quartz? Yeah, let's get some quartz while we're at it. That can be useful. Watch our back. Actually, I usually don't like playing with the mini map, which you uh, could have. But I think right now, oh, I don't like the, I don't like how that one looks. For your journey map, if you press J by default, you should get this screen. You come down here to options. You have a few little things. Mini map preset one is there is a mini map up in the corner that you see. I have it enabled. If you scroll down, you can press preview down here to see what you're gonna change. Now these are my personal um, options that I like to play with. Maybe you like the default option. But this is how I like to go. I like to first off change the shape to square. I make my location X, Y, Z, because that's what makes sense to me. In this case, I'm going to increase the font so I can see a bit easier. And then I'm going to make it a bit smaller, about that big. I don't like it taking up too much room on my screen. And now I have a nice little mini map. If you press the plus on your keyboard or the minus, you can zoom in and out. Oh, there's a creeper over there. All right, let's get rid of this guy. These juggernauts are problems. And let's see if we can get rid of that creeper. All right, I should definitely, yeah. Range is the way to go in this mod pack. All right, this is, I can mine this ore right here. Oh, which drops some sort of crystal. Okay. 
Let's get a good amount of this stuff, because I don't know what's used for. Okay, things do explode. Okay. Okay, things do explode. So you have to be careful. Oh, boy. Alright, if we go and look at our quest book, we can see the route we've taken to get here. So you want us to get five of these. Oh my gosh, I can get a potion of fire resistance. That's gonna that that could come that could save our life in here. Okay, and then we need a lot of nether bricks, it looks like. So collect a lot of nether brick. Um It seems like there's different types of nether bricks, so that's great. It seems like any of them will work though. Okay, back out into the unknown. That one got me. Gosh dang it. Alright, these guys are getting closer to me. I don't like that. Stay away from me. Their sounds like get cut off in a weird way. Whenever they die. Okay, that's a creeper. Okay, these creepers don't run at me like uh like the ones in the overworld do. Oh, what was that? Alright. What what in the world? What? Oh boy. So they they move sporadically. What is that? What is this little thing? Hello? Little mushroom man, a brown mungus. I'm gonna need like more arrows. What just hit me? What just did that to me? Why did I move like that? I don't like that. What what is that? What's doing that to me? What is doing that to me? Okay, we're gonna run away. Okay, what's doing that to me? I'm not jumping like that. Thank you for that. Let's get out of here. I just heard- what? Oh, wait, there is a sheep in here? Hello. Wow, that's about the most cursed thing I've ever seen in my life. Looking around, trying to see if I can see any spots of that brown soul stone. Oh, cobwebs. Did that. Oh, did you do that? Okay. What was that for? Okay. This one's bad. That one was bad. That one was bad. Okay. Before I run back to the nether, I'm going to make myself a lot more arrows. Now that I know that ranged uh, combat is the way to go, I'm going to make sure I don't run out of arrows. Oh gosh, there's something close by, isn't there? Oh gosh. Oh god. Alright. Okay. Anyone else? I think I definitely have enough n uh, the nether brick stuff and have plenty of that. I have six of this cobble stuff, which will turn into... Yeah, I need more than that. Yeah, I just need more of that. So each each single cobble, each soul stone I can mine up is, is one of them. I need four per thing, yeah. Yeah, it's not looking good for me so far. Like off in that direction should be where I try and go. Problem is, kind of difficult to get over there. Okay, okay. We are going to take a quick detour back to the overworld. Okay, with some of our resources that we have, we can make ourselves an iron hook, which works like the uh, wooden one they had before, but this one has a larger range. Now I figured out how I gotta use it. You have to have it equipped in your like in this little tab menu. Whatever this the bubbles menu. And then you can press C and you'll get hooked on it like that. Let's see how well this can work out for us now. So I should be able to attach myself like that. Okay, didn't like that sound. Come on. There you go. And you can shoot another one. Yes. Then if I shift on that one, I can get rid of that one. Okay, and then if I shift and press that one, I can get rid of that one. Okay, yeah, there you go. This, this is so dangerous. This is so dangerous, I love it. Alright, we'll just jump here. 
Call that a day. Okay. Yeah, there's plenty of uh, stuff around us right now. Okay, let's get rid of these guys over here. That spider, I don't like you. Oh, hello. Did he die? I hope he did. The horrible sound. Really bad sound. There you are. Stop. <laughs> Please. Alright, I broke my way back over here. I don't actually hear anything, but I do see this, which is exactly what I need. Let's see if I can find more of this uh, stone stuff. What? It wasn't even looking at me. That just seems like... Oh, these guys. Oh, good, good, goodbye. Okay. I don't know what that was about. Oh, no, they're coming back. We'll be fine. Alright, look. More, more of, the, of the soul stone is what we needed. We got plenty of, of food and healing items. Our protection's holding. Alright. Fighting these monsters, that's a different story. But we can do it. We can pull this off. Oh, gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. I have no idea what that was. It's you. You right there. That's what that's what it was. What is this? Block of quartz. Interesting. Ooh, beehive. I'm always thinking about my bees. I only got the queen for that one, but that's interesting. Infernal princess. Okay. Looking at my little box of loot, I think we have enough of what we needed. We have plenty of, of, of the soul stone, blaze rod and powder, and nether rack to turn into bricks. So, at this point, I'm calling this expedition completed. Now, here's a little trick I did earlier. I actually set my home at the nether portal. Because I don't, I, I'm, I don't want to go back out there anymore. Okay. And now we can come back to home. And I'm curious to see if I can set home in different dimensions. So maybe if I do set home again. Or sorry, slash home. Oh, but there's a cooldown. Oh, that's fine. We can fight our way through the night and get to the... Uh, get back home. And look at that. Just like that. We're back home. Let's take a nice rest. Sleep all that off. Died a few times. Just a handful of times. And we got plenty of loot. Look at that. Plenty of stuff. I'll start processing this, smelting up the things I need. And then hopefully next episode we can get that blast furnace built up and we get some steel production going. So thank you guys for joining me. It's been a fun one. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And goodbye.